Okay, so here for review this time we have a smartphone right, which is the Nokia Luma 820, not the 800, the 820. As you can see the packaging here, it comes in a variety of colours white, as you can see from if you can see very well on the box, white, red, yellow black, blue, purple or grey. Grey I don't really see it would be a big seller, I thought that's one of the least popular but anyway it's a huge amount of colour. Now what happens if you can't uh, what happens if you can't get it in the colour you want? A lot of places I know store it in just just a black model or maybe even white but you rarely seem to see at least uh, where I've looked and locally uh, any colour like blue or purple or grey or uh, yellow. Some might have red but most are only black uh, and you're lucky if you can even get white or red. Well you're not stuck. You can buy that, it just means spending uh, about £19 more but if you really want to you can remove the cover and place on the other covers that you can buy separately from the device which is good. Having said that, that does mean, of course, not only are you paying for the phone, you then have to either buy if they have it there, which uh, they don't where I've seen, but if it, or going online and buying the uh, shell, uh, shell separately. It's a little pricey for a shell, £19, but what I should point out straight away is it is, uh, it is a wireless charging shell. So it ain't just a bit of plastic, it actually uh, has little chips in it and stuff like that so you can w uh, charge your phone wireless wirelessly if you have a compatible wireless charging plate. So anyway, this is the black one because that is literally all they have anywhere locally for me. Uh, it is 820 like I said, in the box. I've already, I'm not really doing a proper unboxing as I wanted to fully use it and test it really before I made a review. Um, I didn't want to film it and then go back later uh, to do the actual review. But anyway, it comes with the phone, although that's not exactly a surprise. Um, it comes with the SIM card uh, uh, providing you got it either on pay as you go or monthly. Or sim free, uh, presume would be sim free. But uh, yeah, documentation, uh, headphones, uh, well, it's headphone symbol on here, but it's uh, earbuds, uh, power cable to plug into your mains, or and a USB cable to plug into your computer. Not just for transferring, you can charge, uh, you can charge the device's battery via USB. Not you don't have to plug it in the main, so you, but uh, the good thing is you've got both op options. A lot of things have both options, don't have the power cable and you uh, would have to get that separately or stick with, uh, stick with charging by USB or vice versa, but this does have both and you can choose which method you prefer. It uses Snapdragon 1.5 GHz dual core uh, CPU. It also uses not Windows Phone 7.5 or 7.8, but actually Windows Phone 8, the latest at the time of making this review, which is good because it's more future-proof and will support Windows 8 exclusive uh, exclusive apps, which won't be compa backwards compatible with older devices using 7.5, which also means that because if you've got 7.5, you can't buy or even get a free upgrade to 8. 8 can't be um, 7.5 or 7.8 can't be upgraded to 8. The best you can get, do if you've got 7.5 is some makers like Nokia will offer a free update to 7.8 eventually. And 7.8 has some features of 8 but not the exclusive apps, things like that because of different architecture. So it's probably best if you're paying a fair amount of money for a, a new smartphone. You should probably uh, look around for one like this or this one which has Windows Phone 8 now. So this does have Windows Phone 8. It comes with some pre-installed Nokia exclusive apps of their own, such as Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps, and Nokia Music. 
Uh, there's a few others which it doesn't list in the box and you can also get more Nokia exclusive apps made by Nokia on the App Store and that doesn't mean it, this uses its own App Store, it has Windows Phone Store uh, but Nokia makes some of their own apps that you can download if you want to use their apps that are uh, free. So basically that's what you get in the box. At the bottom I won't really show you but it's got this serial number and um, WLAN number, the IMEI number, uh, tells you if it's black, what colour it is that you've got in the box, and of course barcode, things like that. They normally I uh, won't show you, but, but on the top, at least uh, where I got it, they stuck a label on with both the IMEI number, the SIM card number, and the, your mobile phone number. It, by the way, uh, not that it really matters for this review, but this is the pay as you go model, uh, well, the monthly contract. So here it is. At the front, see if we get a nice shot. At the bottom, you have. I've got a bit of glare and reflection here because of lighting, but uh, you have three but physical buttons, although they're not so much physical as they are touch buttons, but uh, touch sensitive buttons. But they are separate from the actual touch screen. You have a back button the window start button which is basically like the home button on an iPhone and then a search button then on the actual side you have three physical buttons you probably can't see oh yeah maybe we can but it, they're the same colour because it's a black one and they're black but uh, you have three buttons at the top here you have a rocker up and down for the volume and in the centre which this is the negative point and the only really, really negative point I can give about the phone is that power button here at the centre on the right side and then a dedicated camera button uh, now the problem is with the uh, power button you don't hold it down like on a iPad or whatever and for a second and then it turns on and it's not on the top or even the bottom it's on the side and sometimes if you just sort of pick it up to hold it your finger or thumb or palm depending upon which hand you're using just gently knocks it a little bit you don't perhaps you don't even feel it it's really sensitive uh, even though it's a physical button it's not even a touch button it is actual physical button it's quite sensitive and being on the side you pick it up quite often it boots it up even if you don't want it to uh, and this isn't just me my dad picked it up earlier just to take a look at it because it was you know new phone and stuff and as soon as he picked it up it booted straight up and he hadn't meant to do it, actually boot it up he just picked it up to take a look so it is a very bad location this could be remedied um, I don't know all the workings of phone so uh, hardware so maybe it couldn't be but I would presume this could surely be remedied somewhat with a software update if Nokia did it to make the button so you had to hold it in hold it down for a second to turn it on so it, uh, that would make it less accidentally knocked and accidentally uh, yeah that's pretty much the only negative thing uh, of course if Nokia is afraid of, sort of people being used to it like sensitive the way it is the way they turn it on people might not like the change force upon them however uh, you could perhaps provide an option in settings so you can have it instant like it is now just quick press and it comes on or maybe you you could allow people to select to have it turn on after holding it down for a second or two because at the moment this is a, quite an annoyance but the only annoyance is that it, uh, at least once a day you pick the thing up to move it or something and it, it boots up and then you have to wait for it to finish booting up and shut it down uh, the only other thing which isn't a big deal and in fact it's actually in some ways a bonus in a way you could say a, a plus is you take up you can take a sort of shell off its back cover off like I said before so you can put the different color ones on but you have to pry it off from each corner at the top, you sort of the top corners and pry it off your fingers 
it is really really difficult to get off it is a real struggle and takes quite a while to get it off and um, it's almost impossible but you can get it eventually so you definitely won't want to be changing colours uh, very frequently or, uh, if ever or only once or whatever you know um, however uh, the plus point to that is you know it's on nice and solid and ain't going to fall off all of a sudden and battery drop out and whatever it is on a nice and solid so it's more secure but then if you do want to change uh, change the sim card change the battery or change the cover you can have a bit of a struggle and let's take a look at the rest of it here at the bottom you have a mini USB to connect to your computer or power at the top you have a headphone slot and at the back you have Nokia logo down the bottom at the top you have the back facing camera and flash also I forgot to mention up here at the front there is a front facing camera and the screen is a AMO LED screen, so a good quality screen, uh, 800 by 480 resolution and it, and the screen is a 4.3 inch screen so one of the bigger, certainly uh, until more recent times this would have been huge uh, because most were about 3, 3.5 like the old, uh, I, older iPhones used to be about 3.5 I think uh, so 4.3 is fairly large and I know from using this it is a good size so let's power it on and it did a little vibration in my hand which of course you you can't tell but when I uh, press the power button after a second it made a little vibration and then the Nokia logo has come up I just saw the home button and stuff down the bottom flash. And it's strange when you've got to say something about something being fast, it seems slow. Uh, because I was going to say this seems like a very, very fast boot time for a, a, a portable device. And it is, although that did seem a bit slow <laughs> demonstrating it there, but yeah, it's normally very fast. Here you have the lock screen with the time and date, uh, how many messages if you've got any emails. At the top you have your uh, signal strength, Wi-Fi strength and uh, battery indicator. Also the screen there, you can set the screen uh, or you can have it uh, have random sort of screens for the background from sources such as your Facebook or Bing and it'll randomly get Bing images. Uh, I did have it on Bing but when I set up Facebook it basically said do you want to use um, your uh, Facebook photo so I just said yeah whatever and I haven't bothered to change it so that's why it's got one of my pictures on there. You swipe, whoops, you hit the power button to unlock it if it's uh, on standby. You swipe up to reveal the keypad to enter your code, your lock code. Then it goes straight to the Windows 8 home screen. And you can, in Windows 8, unlike Windows 7.5 phone, you can hold down. And not only can, by holding down, can you move this. In the, uh, icons in the different orders but you can also now if I show you you can either close it which I don't know if you could I presume you could delete things from your screen in the old Windows phone but I haven't used the old Windows phone so I don't know but what is new I have heard is this little thing so you can change the uh, size of it so at the moment I've got it full stretched across basically like widescreen tile you can click and make it basically medium. If I click it again it's very very small so you've got three size options big, medium and small for your tiles. 
you can hit the home Windows Home button or just click off of it to leave the editing mode and you can when you're in the editing mode as well as resizing it and deleting them you can drag them down and you can re-add them as well if you have deleted something you didn't want to delete. So you have your phone which you click there. Uh, you can select one of your things in your history from the list or you can go down here and there's various options so if you drag up you can see what the options are the actual text for them you have voicemail you can get to that straight away keypad people search you can delete your history or go to settings if you hit keypad whoops hit voicemail I haven't got it configured hit a uh, keypad you get your keypad up good size buttons and you can then hit call or save to save the number let's go back back again you have messages which I won't show you because there's some messages there in Internet Explorer 10 let me just uh, reset this to knock your home page there's Nokia homepage on it. Bear in mind that it's a mobile version of Nokia site. As in settings, you can set it if you want your browser, Internet Explorer 10, to render as a full desktop web page or the mobile version if it's a mobile version of the site is available. At the moment, I've just left it on mobile to be a bit quicker and just to test, you know, the speed and things like that. You, what I did is down here, there's three dots. You get it on a lot of programs. You can swipe up and you can get to tabs, recent favorites, add to favorites, um, share page, pin to start as a tile, find on this page and settings. And that's from the double dots to get more info like that, more setting options. That you'll find is just universal between many of the apps. There's a refresh button there as well. Go back. Right, so you go home. Then you have your email button and your app store button. And that goes, like I say, not some dedicated Nokia shop, although there is a section for Nokia's own programs, but just the Windows Phone 8 store in general. Although, like I say, there, if you look, I don't know if it's going to show very well, but the very top one is Nokia Collection, so you can get to all the Nokia made apps. Then just normal apps, just Windows Phone stores apps, and then Windows stores games and music. There is also a search button to search for search the store. Then you get like uh, basically a uh, featured. If you scroll across, you can see the featured app, which in this case is Angry Birds. Uh, looks like Star Wars for seventy nine pence. There's trials available of a lot of games and then you scroll across again you get to some more featured apps such as forecast amazing music and volvo encore featured games scroll across again featured music then back to the main the first page so let's hit home again you have an app for people uh, which is basically uh Highlights, you got that, you got a. Uh, actually, I think I hit on the wrong thing, do I? I must have. Anyway, people is everything to do with your sort of social sort of side of things. You then, this bright orange one is Office. There you can create a, a simple document or a simple presentation or a simple spreadsheet from uh, samples. So you can select a sample one to start as your basis of uh, a presentation or Word document or. Uh, Excel, uh, scroll across, you would have then places such as documents on your phone or email attachments, scroll across again, you have recent, which is back to the first screen, you can search or hit add, and add brings up a full list, such as blank document, uh, Word or Excel, 
Word templates, agenda, outlines, reports, Excel templates, budget, event schedule, mileage tracker. Let's go home again. You have app highlights, which is basically like the app store, but highlighted ones. Then some Nokia apps, such as Nokia Music. Let's just check that. There's Nokia Music app. You have uh, stores, you can buy some music from them, or go to My Music, any music you already have in your device, or create a mix. There's a couple custom tiles I put for maps. Wouldn't be on there by default, it's BBC News and uh, the Weather Channel. Then you have this big one here, it's your calendar. Then you have photos, Xbox music and videos, Nokia City Lens, which is another Nokia program, the train line for train journeys, TripAdvisor for planning trips to hotels, things like that. Uh, Nokia Care, Local Scout, Games, which, let me just click that. Games are games in your device, such as trial, any trials here, like I've got trial of uh, Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, Plants vs Zombies. Um, and here you can uh, log in with your Xbox Live account and even have your Xbox 360 avatar, Xbox Live avatar. Okay, and then spotlight from Xbox games, things like that. Go home, scroll down again. What else do we have? Basically, eBay app built in. And if I scroll across to the right, you have your main list. You have your main list. Here, this list will vary from your default because I have apps installed which are not default. But basically, you have your various uh, other things which weren't on the start menu which are built in such as your uh, calculator and your camera, you can get to it from there or of course a dedicated button like I said. Um, get to some other apps you've installed but not put on your start screen like CNN or BBC News or whatever, Facebook app. Uh, Internet Movie Database app and this is also where if you scroll down you can get to more of your Nokia apps but also you can get to settings so if I click settings you get to your settings for your phone now here on settings you have you can set your ringtone and theme if I hit theme you get a choice of dark or light Dark or light may see the black background here on all the menus, that will be white instead. And then you can select your accent colour. And I click that, you can select from all these different colours for your icons. So basically I've got like a cyan blue. And I'll select something like dark green. Okay. There you can see accent colour is written in green now there. But if I go back, all of these all these buttons are green. If I go back to the home screen, where they were all blue before, like the phone button, they're now green, which I think is a great customization option. This is to do not with knock this Nokia phone in particular, it's Windows Phone 8 feature. In fact, it's called Emerald that green. Uh, then back to light blue, which they call cyan, and of course. There's a very, couple shades of blue, a couple shades of green, you have pink, purple, orange, red, all sorts there. Go back. You can set up your email and other accounts such as Facebook and Twitter. You can turn internet sharing on or off. Lock screen, go here, you can select where you want your lock screen, which was telling you about a minute ago, where you want your pictures from. As you can see, I don't know if it's focusing. At the top it says Facebook, so if I pull down that list, uh, from because of the apps I have installed on here, I have from Photos, which I think is a built-in, which is a built-in uh, feature. You also have from Bing, which I've told you about, from Facebook, because I have CNN installed, you have CNN pictures uh, streamed to your lock screen, BBC Worldwide Mobile or Angry Birds, um, 
So it depends very much on what apps you have installed. So if I select Bing again, in a minute I might show you uh, how it's changed. But uh, when show artists when playing music, so it will show what uh, music you're playing on your lock screen, but you can turn it off. Notifications, choose an app to show detailed status. Messaging, calendar, mail. Choose apps to show the quick status of. And show uh, screen times out after. So the screen basically goes on to standby if you leave it for a while, but you can select to have that over 30 seconds, 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes. Default seems to be 3 minutes and I'll leave it on that. You can actually turn off a password so you don't have to put in that uh, pin sort of thing, the password to get it off the lock screen like I did at the beginning. So you're not forced to have that. Require a password after. You know, either after either each time, after 30 seconds, etc., after 30 minutes, 15, 3, uh, go back off of that, Wi-Fi, so there you can turn Wi-Fi on or off, uh, select your network and enter the details that's using the password, Bluetooth there, you can turn it on or off, as you might be able to see, I've got it off at the moment. Hold this bit better. You have tap and send, it's turned off. It says share photos, websites, contacts, and more, or pair your phone by tapping against another near field communicated uh, compatible device. So it has near field communication built into it, which is basically, I think, how if you've heard of Skylander games where you get the cards and you sort of swipe them on a plate or whatever or a character figure and put them down on a plate it will basically scan it a bit like almost like a barcode but it's more wireless than that um, I've got that turned off at the moment because I haven't really got anything to use on it at the moment so I figure it will save battery having it off whoops pressed twice and went back too far okay then you have flight mode you turn on or off Select your mobile network, kids corner on or off, battery saver to save battery, it says turned on 14% uh, of battery left, you can turn it off, uh, they'll tell you how much battery is left in percentage there. Your phone storage, if I click that, it shows you if you've got an SD card in or if not just how much is on the phone itself and then you select to store new music and videos on the phone or on the SD if you've got one in or if you want to save new pictures to straight to the phone or straight to the SD card by default backup, save stuff to the cloud okay so you back up to guard against any mishaps by saving certain info to the cloud such as app lists and settings, tech, any text messages and photos, you can turn up each one of those off. Then you have date and time, select 24 hour clock on or off, set automatically the time zone and stuff or put it in manually. Then you have brightness, I've got it on automatic, but you can set things like medium, high or low. Keyboard, basically you select Keyboards such as English, United Kingdom, English, United States, or whatever if you need it. Language and region, ease of use, speech, uh, find my phone. Let's click find my phone on or off basically. You can ring, lock, erase, locate, or send apps to your phone from windowsphone.com. Phone update. You can check for any updates to your phone software here. Uh, you can tick or untick it. Tell me when updates are available for my phone, which I have ticked. You can tick or untick automatically download the updates if data settings allow it. Uh, but I like to know sort of when they're there and do it myself. Company apps, add a company account. About your phone. Uh, basically says the name, Windows Phone. Uh, model Nokia Luma 820, it's courier, it's, uh, it's carrier, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
software version, phone 8.0, screen resolution 800 by 480. You got a call support number for the uh, help, and your terms and conditions and privacy statement will reset your phone from there. Feedback, feedback you can turn on or off to send feedback about your usage to Microsoft and their partners. Um, feedback can only be sent over Wi-Fi. Access point, audio such as Dolby headphones, stuff like that. Set there, extras and info. Extras and info has basically just things like um, the Nokia enhancements version is 1.1.33.5. Warranty version and additional information such as manufacturer model name, mobile operator name, and configuration ID. Um, next, you have display and touch. You can have it on normal sensitivity, high sensitivity. If you have it on high sensitivity, you can wear gloves and use the touch screen when set to high calls and SMS settings set call waiting on or off send feedback to Nokia such as, such as you can rate it from 1 to 10 and leave a comment your Nokia account, you log into your Nokia account or create one and any Nokia accessories you have is the last option which I don't have any Nokia accessories so I can't demonstrate it you can scroll across up the top from system to applications such as background tasks such as Angry Birds, CNN, Facebook you know, allow them to run in the background uh, for multitasking and things like that or disallow them games, connect with Xbox uh, sync game requests um, show game notifications all those sort of things can be toggled on or off Internet Explorer settings you can get to from here as well. Like I said, you can select mobile desktop versions of web pages to be displayed by default. Use search bar button to stop and refresh, or it can bring up the tabs menu of favorites. You can delete your history from here and get to advanced settings, such as get uh, suggestions for your searching from uh, Bing as I type, send uh, browsing history to Bing and uh, their partners and a few other options like that such as selecting your default search provider as Google or Bing so you're not stuck with Bing which I thought perhaps you would be being Microsoft uh, phone but um, no maps you can select allow maps to use, your, uh, to use your location or not you can select download and download which maps such as do you want to download a UK map, if so do you want England, Wales, Scotland and download them or just one of them if you want to download another place like uh, America or Canada and stuff like that then you download each one of them and then after you've got some on here so you've had, so you've had uh, England maps on here for a while you can then check for updates all your maps are up to date uh, they'd be listed which maps need updated if they were you'd select it, hit install, not now Also settings for messages, photo, video, office, people, phone, such as whoops, uh, it's got my number, uh, such as your mum, uh, your number there is shown there, which is handy to get to if you've got a new phone and not sure your number. Uh, voicemail number, show my caller ID to anyone, no one, my contacts only. Call forward and on or off, international assistance, turning this feature on will help automatically correct some common mistakes while dialing internationally or while abroad. And SIM security on or off. Okay, then you have photo settings and camera settings, search settings, store settings and wallet settings. Let's have a look at store a sec. Set, select your pin and suggestions. And then if you scroll across again, you just get back to your system settings, which I've shown you. Let's go to the home screen. Then this button down here is search to search bang. You can search also with voice. Search for Doctor Who. And yep, it did it, except for because I said search for and I was already on the search thing, 
it actually searched for search for Doctor Who instead of just Doctor Who. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind. But it did get what I said right, and I have a localised British accent. So, you know, it's not like uh, I've got an American accent. So it does understand my voice, which is pretty good, especially since these sort of things never used to work properly at all. If you hold down the... Whoops. Um, let's go back, yeah, go back to home. If we hold down the home, search for Doctor Who. Searching for today. Ah, didn't get that right. Basically, if you hold down the Windows key, it will bring up, uh, bring up the uh, voice chat thingy, uh, which is basically its equivalent to Siri on iPhone. It did search like I told it to, but instead of searching for Doctor Who, which it did properly kind of before on the actual search thing, uh, just using this general one, it just searched for today, which doesn't make much sense. Search for Doctor Who. Searching for Doctor Who. Ah, it did it that time. It is. Search. For Doctor Who, and this time it doesn't say search for Doctor Who, it just says Doctor Who. And it searches the web for it, and you can scroll across and search for uh, local or media such as pictures of your, what you search for, such as Doctor Who, or back to web. The screen is very touch responsive. Uh, it was much better though when I had it on high sensitivity uh, but I'm trying it out well on normal uh, and it's definitely usable even on normal uh, I would, the only other test would be to see really how long the battery lasts having it on high sensitivity all the time because of course if it doesn't really affect, uh, affect battery then you may as well have it on all the time anyway yeah so that is pretty much it for this review of the Nokia Luma 820 Windows 8 phone. Uh, basically it's a very good phone, the only cri real criticism is the fact that the power button is on the side and very sensitive so when you pick it up you can accidentally, accidentally turn on your phone when you don't want to and it happens quite frequently. Also I'm um, still sort of using this getting to know it but the battery does seem not to last very long even on battery saver but it doesn't take very long to charge via USB anyway so uh, I, I'd probably if I had to give it a rating give it 9 out of 10 I'd love to give it 10 out of 10 but with the issue of the power button I can't really fairly give it 10 out of 10 but I definitely recommend buying it it costs about £350 in the UK, depending upon where you go, some places or more. Uh, that's pay as you go though. You can get it for free from a, you know, depending upon what contract you get, things like that, or just paying a small amount. Of course, it varies a lot on contract, but pay as you go is around 350